that you know how to get into uh, Robot C, you know how to get a simple program going. If you watched the previous video on this simple program, uh, then we're just going to go ahead and edit it just a little bit. Uh, this video, I want to tell you about something that are called variables. Okay, and variables are things that uh, can change, but for our purposes, we're going to use this to make it more simple to remember things. So, one a uh, variable is something we learn about in math. It's called an integer. It's just a number one, two, three, four, five, six, um, and it's just an integer. So, int is the uh, shortcut or the um, shortening of integer for robot C. So, if you put int, and then let's come up with a name for full speed or full power to a motor would be full, how about just full power, P-O-W-E-R. So full power, and we're going to say that is equal to 127. So that's full power. Now I'm going to click compile program. All right, I'm going to get a little gray X because it's saying I'm not using that variable. But now down here, everywhere it says, like I'm going to do say start motor, left motor, I'm going to say full power. And now I don't have to type in 127. And full power might be more to type in, but I'm going to show you a little trick here. So we did four, full power there and full power there. Now, what if I want, if I had a bunch of this going on? If I had lots of different things here, we'll put in a weight, another weight right down here. And then I'm going to copy all of this. All right, and then I'm going to paste, 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 paste. Okay, now what if I wanted to change all every single time instead of full power, instead of 127, if I wrote this program and I wanted to change it so that the robot would go half as fast, I'd have to go every single one of these and I'd have to change it to 127 or to say 60. I have to change every single one of them. When I have this set up, I can change just this one thing. I could say full power is 60. And then though everywhere that I have full power, it'll go, oh yeah, full power is 60. And so let's try that real quick. So 127 and I'll download to the robot. And remember, you can log in as guest. And we'll just go to, under utility, I'll go to the big table or the huge table. I'll start. Now, now we're going to go for four seconds, and it should wait for four seconds. And then it'll go for four seconds, and it'll keep doing that. Okay. Now let's see if what happens if I change the speed to... Let's say 50. Download the robot. And play. And now it's a lot slower. All right? So that's one way to use an, uh, a, a variable. Um, all right, now obviously if I go slower for four seconds, I don't get as far. So anyway, so keep that in mind. And so that's one way to set up a variable. Then there's, if I wanted to use a decimal, I do float, and then whatever that, a decimal number, I could make that anything I want, like 0 .002. Uh, then there is also a bool, which is a true or false. I say fleek equals true. Okay, so anytime I type fleek, it'll know that I mean true. Let's change that to on fleek. All right, and then you've got, so you've got integers, you got float, you got bool, and then you got string. And a string is anytime, is something you want to type um, like a sentence or something like um, if I said hello equals hi my name is Mark 
like that. And then that would be anytime I said hello in the code, uh, that would be saying, hi, my name is Mark. Um, so these guys, the, uh, the bool and string, you probably won't use too much, but integer and float, you will definitely use those. And in the next video, I'm going to talk about setting up functions. Um, but before you go on to that, you might want to go back to your program and just try setting up a couple of integers, uh, whatever you want them to be. Okay, if you want, uh, if you want to name, you know, the uh, the weight. If you want to do the four seconds, if you want to change that to a long time, all right, then you could go integer a long time equals, let's say, 10 seconds, right, or just 10, right? So then down here, when we say wait, we could say wait a long time. And then when we run this program, that wait will last 10 seconds. Okay, so watch that video and then uh, go ahead and practice with integers and then we'll